I had technical issue. I had to redo my video. But anyway, I'm going to go through this kind of quick. I'm back into uh, the shape of suffering. First of all, choose God this day, you know. Find your hope, find your peace, find your love, find your joy, find your happiness, you know. Never lose your hope. Never, 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 never. If, if, you know, if you have yourself and you wake up the next day, you have everything. You can always rebuild, so never give up your hope. Never do that. Never do that. You can always rebuild, you know. Choose God. Choose God. You know, the bad guys, they sin. The good guys, they sin. We all sin. Everybody. Everybody. Choose God. You don't have to be perfect. No one has to be perfect. It's, you know, you don't. If you decide to come to God, just turn yourself over and he'll help you with the rest. But you always make mistakes sometimes, but just try to do better, you know. Just know that consequences don't go away for your mistakes, even if you turn to God. Even we, even all of us who love God have to suffer consequences behind whatever we do. So don't think that, that when you love God that you don't have consequences for what you do. You do. You have good consequences sometimes. You have bad consequences sometimes. That's how it is. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, that's frustrating. The Shape of Suffering. I'm, I'm still in the introduction, so I'm just going to read it. It's talking about a scenario. It's picking up on a scenario where there's a person that's uncomfortable with their uncle. They never get along, and they have to go to a family function. And so, you know, the person wants to confront the uncle at the family function, and and uh, they just don't get along. You know, so the buildup to, to the function was the thought process, just overthinking. You know, before any events had even happened, just overthinking the scenario, what could happen, what this and that and all the other blase blase. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. And all the, some of the numbers I decided on some of these sightings, I'm not going to cite every every, every single number in the uh, text because it just, it just throws it off, you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm picking up at B and... Uh, it's gonna, I'm just going to do the best I can. We're going to get through this. This is the Buddhist text. The shape of suffering, okay? You've been walking to your parents' house with your above thoughts in mind, already in a state of stress and unhappy anticipation. You knock on the door and your uncle answers with a drink in his hand. Regardless of what he says, you feel oppressed by his presence and wish you were someplace else. Your mother makes it obvious that she does not want a scene at the at dinner, so you go through the evening playing the role of the dutiful child. Alternatively, you could decide that you must never, never the, nevertheless confront your uncle. Either way, you find the role hard to maintain, and so you break out of the role at the end of the dinner. In this way, the entire evening counts as a sequence of stress. So you just overthought. People, we do that a lot. We overthink stuff before it even happens. It's good to think about stuff so you can have a plan of action. But sometimes we can overthink stuff that we don't need to, you know. Instead of dropping the role you have taken on, you assume it for the rest of your life. For instance, as the passive dutiful son or daughter, as the reformer who tries to cure your uncle of alcoholism, or as the avenger seeking retributive justice for the many hardships that you and your mother have had to endure. To maintain this role, you have to cling to views about how you should behave and the sort of person you are or should be. You keep producing and assuming this identity until it becomes impossible to do so any further. Okay. In this way, a full sequence of dependent co-arising could cover an entire lifetime. If you continue craving to maintain this identity, even as you die, it will lead you to cling to opportunities for rebirth as they appear at the moment of death. And the full sequence of dependent co-arising could then cover more than one lifetime, leading to further suffering and stress on into indefinite future. So it's talking about, you know, when you die, you know kind of dying with whatever the spirit that you embrace before you died. And that's kind of similar to, like, you know, some of the other religions. When you die, whatever you embrace before you die is how you're going to spend your, your eternity, okay? As these scenarios show, there is no single definitive time frame for the, the ways in which 
dependent core rising can produce suffering and stress. A single se sequence can last a mere moment or many years. However, even the longest sequence to continue functioning requires repeated loops of momentary sequences as one maintains an identity through thinking about it and intentionally attending to whatever factors are needed to maintain that. So that, I mean, just think about that. Hopefully you can understand what they're saying. You know, we, we, we uh, embody whatever it is that we decide to embrace the most, whether it's good or bad. Okay. I'm going to just try to summarize it like that. Thus, even though we speak of a single sequence crossing over times, that sequence doesn't yield stress only as it ends in aging and death, for it is maintained by myriads of momentary sequences that produce repeated stress at varying levels, sometimes more, sometimes less, all along the way. I'm going to stop it right there. You know, it's kind of talking about, you know, it's kind of, it's talking about the afterlife too, you know, and, and the type of how you die, what you die, how you die, and what you embody when you die is what you carry over into the spiritual realm. And that's kind of true. I mean, the other religions, they just say it differently. You know, they just say it differently. Anyway, um, I thank you for spending your time with me. I thank you to all my subscribers. Let's really make this, this channel grow. I just really encourage anyone that's listening, please subscribe. You know, just please subscribe. You know, just do that. Let's make this channel grow. This 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 channel is gonna gonna you know be a really wonderful opportunity and a, a great source of reference for people once I get them built up. But I really need your support, so please consider. It doesn't hurt you anything to become a subscriber if you're listening. Anyway, remember to smile this day anyway and reach out to one person at a time, one person at a time, one person at a time. Okay.